In this tutorial, you'll see how to define a custom collection view, how to fill the collection view cell with the JSON data, how to define a custom header at the top of the section. Open the main storyboard, add the collection view element. Add the left, top, right, bottom constraints. Add inside the collection view cell, the label view element. Set the number of lines to zero. Center vertically the label element. Add the left and right constraints. Create a new custom class, subclass of the UI collection view cell. Let's call it custom cell. Set the custom class of the cell in the cell identifier. Open the assistant editor. Link the collection view. Link the label to the custom cell class. Define a list with a custom struct. This list will be filled using the country's web services. This struct will contain the country name, the top level domain, and the alpha code. Let's extract the name string. The alpha 3 code. The top level domain is inside an array. For this reason, we firstly need to extract the array, and then the string. Let's download the data using the iOS asynchronous function. Let's extract our JSON data and fill the array. If there are some errors with the data type, the return statement will ensure that the code will break. The collection view needs to be pointed to the class that will manage it. Set the class as a subclass of collection view data source to manage the data. Collection view delegate to manage the collection view clicks event. Collection view flow layout to manage the cell size. Let's implement now the collection view data source. The two mandatory functions to implement are the number of elements, the cell instance. For the cell instance, we will recycle it. Be sure to use the same identifier that you have written inside the main storyboard. Let's define now the cell size. Here are the results till now. Our custom cells are properly filled with our data. Let's add now the cell header. Turn back to the main storyboard, select the collection view element. Turn the section header accessories option on. Create a custom cell, subclass of collection view reusable cell, and set it to the view. Get the cell header with the view for element type of kind. Here it is the result. If you want to be updated on new Swift tutorial, be sure to subscribe to this channel 